hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just filmed my 2023 statistic and I have not moved since. So let's go into my anticipated reads of the year. Or, you know, all the books I've pre-ordered. Yeah, okay. Let's put me to shame, shall we? So I'm pretty sure um, some of the books will have come out when this video comes out because I am behind on life and uh, editing is not really, I'm not really feeling the editing game right now so yeah this definitely will come out later than I had planned. Anyway, for January they are, <laughs> I'm gonna say, so um, they are in order of the like date they're coming out because um, that's how I've written them down because um, it's not one pre-order, it's several pre-orders. So I've written them down to keep track of things. Does that help me? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, let's go into that um so the dates i've written down here may or may not be correct but they were correct at the time of um when i wrote them down and probably also when i'm filming this uh which maybe i should have checked before i film start filming but i did not but they were correct when i wrote them down anyway let's get into them so January. The first book I have written down is The Atlas Complex by Oliver Blake. Now this is the third and last installment of the Atlas tr Atlas 6 trilogy. What? Um, it's something Dark Academia. I think it's six people guessing. Um, they go to school, they may have abilities, they may or may not take over the world. I, that's probably wrong <laughs> um yeah yeah <laughs> this um i'm very excited to finally be able to read this series i did very recently as in for christmas i got the um the atlas 6 in hardback that was a struggle to find by the way because nobody wants to sell it anyway um i'm very excited to start that series um when the atlas 6 came out it was very very hyped then it kind of slowed down or died down i don't know i haven't really heard much about like the atlas paradox is that what the second one is called and then the complex is the third and final one um so we'll see we'll see um i think i'm gonna plan on having a vlog for that in february don't hold me to that. Don't, don't, don't. Well, it'll happen at some point. After that, on the same day, 9th of January, did I say? Anyway, um, we have Lee Bardugo's Hellbent coming out in paperback. For some reason, I pre-ordered that. I don't know why. I bloody hate that cover. I I need that cover to go away. But I have the first one, so you know, I yeah, I I I, I think it was sprayed I just not gonna lie. Anyway, kinda looking forward to it. Definitely do not want to look at that cover. After that, also in January, January 18th. Uh, Sarah El Arifi has a new book coming out called Feybound. No idea what it's about. Are we surprised? No. But I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with the... What's it called? Where are they? The Final Strike ones. They were literally right there. Um, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with that, but also it may have something to do with that. Pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's something else. Um, <laughs> information. Uh, yes, I do not contain it. 
Moving on to February, we have Tom and Giovanna Fletcher's Eve of Man book number three. Now this I have had on pre-order for over two years. It's time for that book to finally come out, okay? Publish the damn thing. See, I'm looking right at you. Yeah, right at you. You, you who have decided to not publish this book for over two years. Better come out now. Better come out. Um, so, Eva Man. <laughs> I've read the first two books. I should know this. Eve of Man. Eve is the first girl born in 50 years. Uh, so, you know, planet full of dudes. There are some ladies, but they're, they're over 50 years old. <laughs> they're 50 plus, okay? Okay, um, basically, government is a dish. Basically, government has taken possession of Eve and plans to use Eve as a, well, a baby maker, let's say. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, but Eve has um, things to say about that. Although, with the ending of book two, we shall see what happens to book three, whenever that comes out. I will have a vlog for that one as well, because it has been over two years since, over three years, I think even, since I read book one and two. Um, so I will be rereading those before I pick up book three. If it finally comes out, this is me upset. <clears throat> that holds up. Also, on February 1st is the third Green Creek book. So it's Heart Song by TJ Clune. Now, these are uh, being re released, recover ish books. I have the first two ones, and I'm just waiting for the last two ones. So, book three. Um, and I will eventually read them, but they're pretty. I could read them, but I'm waiting for these pretty covers, okay? I'm waiting for them. I am. I don't know what they're about. I've forgotten. Anyway. Also, February... I can't say words. February 1st is Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Su Lin Tan. So, I think... This was, it was either like a prequel or it was like short story collection um, of the uh, Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. We'll see, I suppose. But it's in that general direction. Um, so mythology based, anyway. Um, <laughs> moving on to February 6th, another TJ Cullen book. This is The Bones Beneath My Skin. Absolutely no bloody idea what this book is, is about, but apparently I just pre-order TJ Cullen books now, so I did. I did. Uh... <laughs> On February 22nd, we have A Tempest of Tea by ha 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 Hafsa Faisal, Hafsa, F I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. This is a, I like the cover, it had tea in the, uh, in the, in the title, um, I like tea, it was pretty. That's about everything I know about this book. Yeah. Yeah. On February 27th, we have Fate Breaker, the third and final book in the uh, Round Breaker <laughs> series by Victoria Aviad. I had to look at the books because I keep mixing up Brown Breaker and Blade Breaker for some reason. Um, Fate Breaker is set to be the third and final one as far as I know. So um, yeah, I will be rereading book one and two. I did read book two last year sometime. I 
at some point I read Blade Breaker but when reading that I felt it had been too long since I read book one and I couldn't really connect with the characters or the plot or anything um so I don't think I got what that book was given so when book number three comes out I'm gonna be rereading book one and two and then reading book number three and we'll be hoping that's the end of it because it's confusing I just know um <laughs> so basically there's there was like spires or something i i've totally forgotten the plot of this book as well that's so bad but there's so many characters i know there's like an adventure and stuff but there's so many characters and some are good some are bad and some are just confusing me so i will be rereading and then finishing that's what i'm going to do probably also going to be a vlog so there's that at some point um, on the same day, apparently, this is Holly Jackson's favourite book she's written to date. Uh, it's The Reappearance of Rachel Price. Absolutely no idea what it's about, but uh, being Holly Jackson, I'm guessing crime? Crime mystery thingy? I'm very excited. Um, I don't want to know too much, honestly, because I feel like with those kinds of books, it's... As soon as you know something about it, you're going to know how it's going to end. And that's going to take everything out of it. Um, but I'm very excited. I've loved her books t so far. Um, especially A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, moving on to a March. We have The Prisoners Thrown by Holly Black on March 5th and this is the second one in the something something duology what the bloody hell is it called <sighs> it's the what's the call it's the sequel duology for the cruel prince series I don't remember what book one is called. That's that's great. That's great. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I've been waiting for book two to come out so I can read book one, um, because I just feel like I should. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I'm I'm excited about a lot of things. I feel right now. I feel like I've said excited a lot. Anyway, um, I'm interested to see how that's gonna go. Apparently, it's uh, one of the characters, um, that's a very small child in the first original trilogy. Um, he's all grown up now, more or less, and so we'll we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what what happens. Um, let's see, March 14th, we have the Dark Star Burning Ash Falls White. That title is confusing me. Uh, by Emily Wen Chow. Chow? I'm sorry. Um, it's the second book for a book I own. I own the something something by the same author. <laughs> Yes, um, I don't know what that book's about. I don't know what that one is about, but it's the it's the sequel, so you know had to pre-order that one. Also, yeah, I it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, this is how they get me. <laughs> Two books coming out on March twenty eighth. First, we have the collector's edition hardback of Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. So it's the second book in the A Good Girl Sky to Murder book, book series. Uh, I do have the first one. <laughs> the one and only book I got signed at Yalk by Holly Jackson because there were so many people that wanted to see her. And I was by the end of it. <laughs> anyway, um, I will get to see her again. I will. I will uh, at some point I will um, yeah so I, I had to get that right sure yeah sure <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and also on the same day is Seven Summers by Page Tune. So this is Page Tune's 2024 release, and I love Page Tune, so I had to have it, didn't I? Apparently, yes. <laughs> Moving on to April. So on April 11th, we have The Familiar by Lee Bardugan. Now I think this is, I don't think it's a standalone. I think it's supposed to be a series. Don't quote me on it. Uh, but it's a new book. Not set in any of her previous worlds. So there's that. There's that. That's, that's everything I know. Or don't know possibly and then we move on to May so on May 7th despite not actually really liking the two previous books in this series um, it's Lightbringer by Piers Brown now I didn't really vibe with the last two books which is Iron, Iron Gold Iron Gold and Dark Age. Now I didn't really vibe with them, but I, I do want to know what, what's going to happen. And I do think there's a book that's coming out after this one, so I don't think it's the, the last one. Also, don't quote me on that, but I do think that's the word on the street, as it were. Um, yeah, I, I want to know what's happening. So I really loved the Red Rising trilogy, the first three books in this saga, as it were. Um, which is why I continued into book four and so on. Uh, from book four, you don't really need to continue it to actually, if you just want to read the first three, there's an ending on the book number three, so you're fine. But book four and so on. So I think... We're following too many characters, there's too many things happening and no conclusion to anything. So th there's just too many balls up in the air. Uh, that's why I'm not like vibing with it. Guess it's just not for me, but I, I do still want to know what the freaking hell's happening. Um, I'm not too sure, not gonna lie, not too sure, but I want to know what happens next. So there you go. <laughs> On, it moved. Uh, on May twenty third, we have a new Jennifer Saint book, and it's all about Hera this time. So I've read three, I believe, three of her books. She may have only wrote, written three books. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I've read three of her books, and I've enjoyed them. In different ways, but I've enjoyed them. They've all been Greek mythology based, as is this one. Um, how, wh who, what, where? Well, who, we do know who, it's about Hera, but like what story of Hera's, we don't know. Well, I don't know, um, but I will find out when that book's arrive. Book arrives. Anyway, um, Two days later on, um, no, not two days later, a month and two days, uh, June 26th, we have Sleep Like Death by Kayleen Bayron. Now, at Yalk, there was like promo for this book. I did not know <laughs> it was a book coming out at the said time, uh, but we got like a candied apple, um, which looks like poison, because uh, it works very green. It was very very green I didn't really taste it I did take it home and my mum tasted it and it had gone a bit bad at that point because I, I think you were supposed to eat it um, sooner rather than later anyway um, yeah don't know what it's about but I'm excited because I've, I've enjoyed Kayleen Bayron's books so far they've all been have they all been I was gonna say all her books have been like fairy tale based, but they haven't. <laughs> they haven't. So the last book I read by her was um what's it called again? I can't read the 
font from here. It's too small. The text is too small. Anyway, it was um, something being murdered in the woods thing. Slasher flick something. <sighs> this is where you get with me. Anyway, moving on. So, July, July, or July, that a lot of people say, which I just feel sounds weird. Anyway, not here to judge that. On July 4th, we have the... Yeah, the, the last book in the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder um, Collector's Edition series. I don't know. It's as good as dead. Like I said, I had to. <laughs> the way my mind works. Anyway, on the same day, the 2024 release of uh, Jill... Whoop. Lindsay, Lindsay Kelk's 2024 release um, comes out and it's called A Love Story. No, Love Story. Just Love Story. I do know because um, it was teased when I was at Yalk. Um, she's also re written, she's writing or have written, it's in the process. She's, I think it's a YA, I think it's a series. It's a YA, something with witches. And I thought it was going to come out in like May or something, but I think it's going to come out later. I don't know, because I can't find the information anywhere. Anyway, um, hopefully sometime this year, because I'm very excited about it. It sounded very up my alley kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Someone tell me to please stop doing that as well. Anyway, on um, July 11th, Costanza Casati? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, this person, this name, <laughs> has written a book called Babylonia. Yes. Uh... Oh, me. Me in a nutshell. Anyway, I read th the book called Clytemnestra. Cl Clytemnestra. This book. <laughs> With a word I can say sometimes, but not always and not when I haven't said it 15 times before. Try to say it. Anyway, I liked that book a lot. I liked the writing, so I was like, you know what? Let's check out this book. I'm gonna say it's something with Babylonia. Well, that means I'm not too sure, but I don't, I'm, I'm very interested to find out. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna do this. Now, what might be most exciting, but also a bit like, why are you doing this to me? Um, Juna Dawson. <laughs> I love Juna Dawson, but Juna Dawson, why are you doing this to me? So uh, last year I read Her Majesty's Royal Coven and the Shadow Cabinet. It was a chaotic vlog. The links will be everywhere. Um, I'm I'm eagerly expecting book number three. This is not book number three. <laughs> book number three is gonna wait. <laughs> so this was also announced at Yalk. I wasn't there because I was standing in line for signings. But Chatty went to the talk and heard it all, and then came back running. And I was like, what? <laughs> Juno does why are you doing this to me? Anyway, um, the book is called Queen Bee. I do believe uh, it's a prequel to the series. So, the Her Majesty's Royal Coven series. Um, it, it's a prequel. Queen Bee. What was her name again? 
B. B. Arthur. No, that's not the one. Oh, her name is something and I have forgotten. Anyway, we're, we're bound to find out some things that happens before the whole Her Majesty's Royal Coven book series. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited to find out more from this world because I bloody love this series, but I need book three, okay? I need book three. Let's move on. On the same day, B. Fitzgerald, who wrote, what did she write? Girl Goddess Queen. She also saw Yelp, by the way. Lovely person. She <laughs> she has written a new book that comes out. It's the the end crowns all. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with that title as well. Don't know what it, the world. Well, I don't know what the book is about, but I did really love that book. That was a Hades and Persephone book. I'm hoping she's gonna give me more Greek mythology because blood love me some Greek mythology retellings. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited to pick that one up, and um, you know. I may have found a new favourite authors last year and apparently that's what's happening. <sighs> Finally, August 1st. <sighs> August 1st. The fourth book in the Green Creek series. Is that what it's called? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'll correct myself somehow. Anyway, the fourth book, Brother Song by TJ Clune finally comes out. Well, the re-released hardcover, new cover thingy. Yeah, so sometime after then I will be reading four very chunky books. Well, I'm assuming book three and four are chunky too because book one and two are very chunky, so yeah, no, there's that. But also, yeah, um, exciting times. Okay, moving on. August 15th. Now this, I do believe, is the third and possibly final book in this trilogy. I'm, I'm guessing here. <laughs> it's Sarah El Arufi's The Ending Fire. Um, which is in the final strap. I, I do believe the series is called The Ending Fire, so the book being called that feels like it's the last book. Otherwise, I'm being food. Possibly that too. Anyway, another B. Fitzgerald book. What? Then Things Went Dark. Have I written these things down correctly? I don't know. Um, but you know, yeah, there's that. Highly suspicious to have two books just one month after. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on to September 12th. Guess what? It's another TJ Klune book. TJ Klune is gonna probably be my most both author next year, this year, this year, 2024. Anyway, it's Somewhere Beyond the Sea. I think it's a standalone. I'm hoping it's a standalone because all these series are messing with my head, okay? Um, no idea what it's about. Why should I? Why should I know anything at all? And then we have on 17th of October, Olivia Blake. So this book is called January. So I don't think it's connected to any specific book or series as such, but it's supposedly a book of short stories. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. 
apparently I needed to have it for some reason or other. Anyway, that is um, all the books I have pre-ordered and it's so many books and I have also no job, no income. So that's uh, interesting how I've not thought about this at all. I presume I will have some sort of income by the end of the year, um, <laughs> but you know, I could also have lost it again, who knows with me. I seem to be going on a roller coaster life journey. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I'm being dramatic for no reason. Was I being dramatic? I don't know. Anyway, um, so many books, so little time. It's not like I don't already have a lot of books to read. Do I? Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. Do I even know anything? No. Okay. <laughs> I should end this video now before... Um, I should just end this video. So, you know, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.